Business Center can also safely handle point cloud data. So whether this has come from a total station or scanner based on the ground or from drone data, less files and other information can be brought into Business Center so that you can utilize this for viewing or create some surface models to then calculate volumes. So in this example, we could maybe calculate we have a stockpile here what's the volume of material within that stockpile so it's very simple just to create a polygon by clicking here on this command and basically start to drag and click our way around very roughly in this manner around the bottom of the stockpile to define our polygon boundary and then double click to close that off and we have a set of our point cloud has now been selected it's then just a matter of creating a surface out of that utilizing our create surface command and from that we can then run an earthwork report to then calculate what is the volume of that stockpile so very simple to do some other new tools to utilize while working with point clouds or also CAD data that's uh, grouped into CAD layers that haven't really been split out properly uh, is the ability to utilize cutting plane views. So in our plan and 3D view we can see we have some red lines already formed. These have been defined which are our planes. So Essentially, we can select one of these planes and view various data. So here we can see cutting through the trees up on the northern end of the job. If I make that wider, so 10 meters, we then see more data appear in our cutting view. So we could start to maybe create a profile through this and select various data as we need on our job site. Um, as I mentioned before, if you did happen to have road data that hasn't been separated properly onto CAD layers, you may have subgrade, base, and final uh, CAD data in terms of triangles and lines. You can easily utilize the cutting plane view and then select here the data that you need to work with. And from that, we can see that appearing here in our plan view. Um, select that information and start to create surfaces out of it. So it's a very simple and useful tool for both point clouds and other data. The final example with our point clouds is utilize, utilizing the same data set as before. Um, it's possible to use the tunneling surface to create surfaces out of scan data. So in this example, there's been rock being blasted and using the normal surface command there may be overhangs which are not supported in the software so that will be flagged and you'll get incorrect volumes being calculated and have spikes and things in your surface models which are not good so utilizing the surface from a tunnel you can basically wrap from a fixed elevation the scan data out flat uh, and that will then create a surface that more truly reflects what has been blasted or created in the field. So as we see here, we've got a nice smooth slope, uh, which can then be modeled into a surface and put into our corridor and utilized for cut and fill deviations. So again, a very useful workflow. And thank you. That concludes the work on point clouds.